Hello YouTube, this is Pneumatic Vacuum. Um, I've just got a video of just showing how to take a Henry apart to fix the motor or the, if you need to get to code rewind, whatever. So, to start you just take out the clips like you're gonna change the bag and just take the motor off. And just move the bags out of the way, you won't need that. And just turn this over, I'm actually going to do this on my knee because I don't want to scratch it. So, first screw you want to undo is, I can find my screwdriver, it's here. There we go. No. Right. The first screws you want to undo is these four, there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. So just unscrew these, best you can. Once you've unscrewed them, just flip the motor in it the right way around. Okay. And then just take the handle, just lift up and just pull that away. That just the title says Henry and you can polish that up or do whatever you want with it. And with any luck, the switch will have stayed on. If you've got a push button switch, just remove it. And here's your card rewind. So lift off. If you need to replace the cable or just the rewind itself, you see the grease in there for the contacts. And also, while you've got that off, just check that all your feet. Your feet, what man? <laughs> All your little wheels are moving. And if you need to get access to the motor, you just need to put the rewind back on so you don't get the grease on your floor. Just position it until it goes in. Turn this upside down again. And just remove these three screws. There's one there, one there, and one there. These are difficult, slightly difficult to unscrew, so I've already gone ahead and partly unscrewed them. And just these, if I didn't say before, these screws come out unlike the other four screws stay in. Or most of the time they stay in anyway. Just your three screws there, just keep them together with your switch. Maybe. And then just the, the clips on either side, just hold those clips in and just lift the casing away. And those clips, if you need to replace them, they just come out like that. Be replaced. Just set that aside. And here you'll see if you've got the high low switch or just a rocker's on off switch, you can just take that out and check all the wiring's all alright in it. Or if you need to replace the switch, you can do that as well. Okay, and if you need to replace the brushes in the motor or you just need to replace the whole motor. Just take the rubber gasket off and the motor literally just lifts out like that. That's it. And you can, like I said, replace the brushes or just replace the motor. Oops. You just unclip, undo those wires. I'm not going to take them out, but you just undo those wires. 
the motor will come out away completely. So, yeah, when you've got your refurbished motor or new motor, just it just literally sits in like that. Just check that these wires are just in the little recesses for the lock. So there you go. The motor's back in. And then just replace the gasket. And also you need to put this back on, making sure you hold it at either side so those clips don't fall off. So I'm just going to pause the camera and reposition that. Right, so I've got it back on and then you just need to replace the three screws. And just like this. And then just screw in those four screws back into place. It's moving here because I'm on high floors, which makes it even harder. I'm trying to do this and hold the camera at the same time. It's nigh on impossible. So I'm just going to pause the camera and screw those back up. Okay, so I've screwed these three screws back up now. And this is on properly. Let me just turn it back over. Again, it'll just leave us with just the card rewind. Now, to put this back together, you just take your push button switch if, you, if your model is a push button and just lie it on top like that. That's literally how it does, just sits there. And get this the right way around. Just position it on carefully. Which you have to make sure the cable's in the right place as well. The push button model is the hardest one to get back together. Seriously, there we go. So I've, there we go. You have to make sure you don't knock the switch out of place. Also, there's a little tab there that has to line up with that hole in there on the switch. You just push it down like that. And also, once you've aligned the switch up, you can just replace the cable entry back in and just put it in like that. Make sure it's the right way around. You'll know if it's the right way around if there's no gap at the top. So I noticed that oops that a screw came out, I'm sure a screw came out yet. Yeah. yeah, let's see where it's come from here. They don't usually come out but sometimes it depends how much you've unscrewed them because they are long screws. And just Tighten these screws up. These screws are easier to screw up, but I'll make sure they're all nice and tight after I've stopped filming. So when it's all back together, it should look the same as before you started. Okay, and just check that your cable works. Yeah. And the machine should also work as well. Positioned some more cable. Let's get it plugged in. Let's 
see if it still works, which it should. Still works, so yeah. That's how you take your Henry apart to do whatever you need to do to it. So hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.